We'd like to welcome in ESPN college basketball analyst Mark Adams, who's written a fictional story that plays out maybe for any of us who are involved in leading a business. It's called The Coach and the Geek. Mark, how are you? Tell us about The Coach and the Geek. Good, Bob. It's great to visit with a former ESPN yeah. as well this morning. So yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled to get a chance to meet you. You know, I wrote a book called The Coach and the Geek, Building a Kickbutt Culture with my dear friend Jeff Van Fleet. He's obviously the geek. I'm the former coach. <laughs> and we're driving down the freeway one day, and he said, Mark, I know you won a lot of games, but you lost a lot of games too. You know, there's two kinds of coaches, Bob. Those have been fired, and those who are going to be. Yep. And I did lose a few games along the way. He said, how did you engage your teams when you took over bad programs? How did you engage your teams and hold them accountable? And that was the birth of the coach and the geek building a kick butt culture. It's a fictional story about Coach Woodward, who's in the last year of his contract. And while there's a lot of fiction, there's a lot of truth to it. I've been through almost all these situations in the book. And bottom line is Coach Woodward is conflicted on the need to win versus building successful, sustainable student athletes for long-term success to be better husbands, better fathers, on the women's side, better mothers, better wives for the rest of their lives. This is a book about how you connect with people. It applies not only to basketball teams, but to your personal life and business as well. It's a short read, about 160 pages, 40 chapters in the book. After every chapter, there's a lessons learned that you can apply to your personal you and your professional life. It's a fascinating read, Bob. I hope people enjoy it. When I say fascinating read, heck, I wrote it, so I'll give myself a pat on the back there. Well, well you got to do that, right? Project, and I've enjoyed every single second <laughs> of it. I hope folks will go out on Amazon.com where it's available. The Coach and the Geek building a kick-butt culture. It's $17.95, good Christmas present, and also at under $10 for the Kindle version. Mark, let me ask you then real quickly, without, without blowing the ending to the story, which, which side do you come down on? Got to win or got to develop? I actually went through that entire process, and the book is yeah. really about that. And, Bob, I learned a valuable lesson when a young man came into my office one day and said, Coach, you're a fraud. And the reason he said that was because I often talked about the process, trust the process, do the little things. But, yeah, when it came down to the last play of the game, we'd break our huddle, and I'd say, one, two, three, win. He said, Coach, you're a fraud because you're, you want us to win. That insults my intelligence. Why don't you trust the process as well? Bob, it changed my life as a young head coach. How bad? I'm all about developing people, becoming the best that they can be. And that served me well as a coach. It served me pretty well as a human being as well. And, and, and when you do that, you end up winning, right? That's exactly right. It's not about one-time winning. It's about long-term success over the course of time. You've been successful in your career for a reason. Because every day you show up prepared, ready to go, I do the same thing. We all need to do the same thing. And, but it's really important, Bob, as to how we connect one-on-one. -on -one. That's been lost in coaching. Yep. You've got to connect one-on-one -on -one with people. There's no IN team, but there is an individual that decides if they want to join the team or not. That's all good stuff uh, and great for anyone running a business, particularly a small business, uh, through these difficult times. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate the chat. You've got me inspired already. Thanks. Mark Adams, My ESPN pleasure, college basketball analyst.